your marker ready. First of all, we draw the first level of the bus and then the wheels. And then up here is the second floor of the bus. We also have some windows over here. Three windows for the top and another three windows for the bottom. The bus is moving on the street, picking up students to school. Now let's add some more details for the wheels and the light of the bus. And we have the wheel over here for the driver and some decoration on the sides. I will also add some stripes over here. Now, let's do all that again. Now let's get ready for coloring time. The first color I will use is pink. And I will apply this pink on the circles of the decorations on the bus. And then we can also apply the pink glitter on it. The next color is blue and blue is for the inside of the wheels. And then we can apply some blue glitter on them. Now, remember the stripes I draw earlier? We can use some red color for that. Some more red color for the front of the bus as well. And now, let's cover all the red color with the red glitters. Now, I need some green color, so I will mix yellow and blue. I will use this green color for the outside of the wheels. I will also use the green color for the front light. And now let's apply some green glitters on the green color. Next, I will apply some glue on the windows and the smoke behind the bus. And then I will use some silver glitter for the smoke and the six windows of the bus. Three on the first level and three on the second level. And finally, I will use the yellow color to color the bus. The whole bus. At first, you can use the big brush for the big area. But when we color the area around the details, you can change to the smaller brush. Okay, now I will use some blue color for the background. 
make sure you use the big brush because it is a lot to color. Ta-da! Here is our school bus. With this bus, I will enjoy going to school every day. Today I will show you how to draw a piano. Start with a long rectangle. That's the keyboard. And now let's add a lot of keys on it. As you can see on a normal piano, we have black keys which are on top and white keys which are longer. Okay, when you finish, let's draw a bigger rectangle around it. And then half big circle on top. Inside, we add two more smaller circles. And the squares between them. And some buttons. And more and more buttons inside the square. It can be small squares or small circles. Do you know what are the big circles for? Those are speakers of the piano. Now let me add some keynotes for decorations. And let's do all that again. Done! Now it's coloring time! I will start with the red color for the keyboard. Remember the keyboard is around the keys, not the keys. Because like I told you, the keys are black and white. And now some orange color for the buttons on top of the speakers. And then I will use the yellow color for the background of the speakers and buttons, which is the half circle we draw before. And then more yellow color for the outside of the keyboard. Remember my friends, there are so many details on this picture, so we should use a small brush. Now I will add some more yellow color onto the buttons inside the square. And I will use some blue color for the circle buttons inside the square. Okay, now I ran out of color, so let's mix some more. Let's mix some red color with some blue color. Mix them well and we have purple. I will use this purple for the rest of the buttons in the square. And maybe use the purple color for the music note as well. Now I will make some green color by mixing yellow and blue. 
and I will apply that on another music note. And also for the speakers. Now let's use some pink color for the last music note. If you don't have pink color, you can always mix red with white. And I will also use pink color for the background of the square. Okay, all done. Now it's glitter time. I will apply some glue on the music note, then apply some purple glitter. More glue on the green music note, and then apply some green glitter on it. Now some glue on the pink music note, and of course, pink glitter for pink color. Now, some glue on the orange color, which is the keyboard. Then we apply some orange glitter on it. Some glue on the blue buttons, and of course, blue glitter for blue color. Keep moving on with the pink buttons and we apply some pink glitter on them. Now, some glue for the yellow buttons. And of course, yellow glitter for yellow color. Now, this is the important part. We apply some glue on the yellow color, but there are so many details, so be careful. And now, let's apply some yellow glitter on the yellow color. And this is our electric piano. I hope you have fun with it. See you next time. Goodbye. Everyone, today I will show you how to draw a butterfly. Do you have your marker yet? Let's begin. First of all, we need a circle. And that's the face of the butterfly. A smiley face. The butterfly has some hair on top. And especially, the butterfly has a beautiful wings. Let's move on with the bodies, including two arms, a skirt, and two legs. Our front butterfly has a very cute flower. And here is the other wing on the other side. It's also beautiful. Do you know some butterfly have four wings? Like this one. Some are very colorful and have a lot of decorations on the wings. Just like our friends. And that's all with the drawing. So let's do all that again. Now, it's coloring time. Have your brushes and your colors ready. First of all, we need to get a little bit of yellow color for the butterfly's hat. I suggest using a small brush because we have too many details. Now, the same brush, the same color for a small part of the wings. Now, 
the next color I will use is the skin color like this one that's for the face of the butterfly if you don't have the skin color you can mix the yellow color with a little bit of red color very easy so for this part we need a very small brush because we have the eyes and the mouth and the hair and you don't want to put the skin color on them I will also put the skin color on the hands of the butterfly and the same color for the legs as well Now I will use a bigger brush and use the blue color for a part of the wings here Now let's mix some color I'll get some yellow color first and then I'll mix it with a little bit of blue color and I have green color I will put this green color to a part of the wings right next to the blue color already very colorful now mixing color is fun let's make some more I will get some red color and mix it with some blue color and I have purple now this purple color is for the last part of the big wings right next to the green color if the big brush is too hard for you to color we can get the smaller one as long as you feel comfortable and easy for you some yellow color and some red color now I have orange color and that is for the small wings the part next to the yellow color we mix a lot of colors today right because this butterfly are so colorful And now let's get the pink color out And do you know what is pink? It's the dress of the butterfly If you don't have pink, you can always mix the red color with the white color and we have pink And now I will use green color again for the last part of the small wings on the left and the same part but on the right I will use some purple color Last thing is the flower I want it to be blue and maybe pink color for the inside Oh look that's so beautiful now it's glittering time to make the butterfly more shiny We definitely need some glue On the wings and on the dress Be careful though, we don't want to make a mess Ow. Purple glitter for purple color on the wings And green 
glitter for the green color of the wings. And pink glitter for the dress. Now, I will use some blue color for the background. It's going to be a lot of blue color, so be patient. You can use a bigger brush to save time. Okay, almost there. And now, this is our colorful butterfly. She's so cute, right? I had so much fun today. I hope to see you again. We need a rice cooker. And that's what we're drawing today. First of all, we need a square. And then the base. Two handles on the sides. Two pedestals. And a smiley face. Don't forget two little chicks. And two round little eyes. Now, this is the lid of the rice cooker and the handles for the lid so you don't get burned when you try to open it. Okay, that's our rice cooker. Now, let's do all that again. I'll add a heart as a decoration on the side. And now it's coloring time. First of all, I will use a small brush and get some yellow color for the lid. You might ask why I need a small brush. Because it's a small area and we don't want to get the color Next. I will use a bigger brush to get some blue color for the base. The handles on the sides are also blue. Now, let's color the heart with red color. And some pink color for the chicks. How about some more pink for the pedestal? Cute! Now, I will use the marker to add some more details onto the handle to make it thicker so it doesn't get really hot. And then, I'm going to make a new color. I will put some red color in the tray and mix it with a little bit of yellow color now I have orange. Let's color the handle with orange color. Mixing color is fun. Now let's mix yellow and blue. We have green. And green is the main color of the rice cooker. Let's put some green 
on the body of the rice cooker. healthy vegetable. Now let's begin. First, we need a big letter U and then the arms and the legs. The other arm. Look, he's holding a hairbrush. Now let's start with his hair and his face. I bet he has a lot of hair. Now these are his eyes. And a big smile. And now look at his hair. See, I told you he has a lot of hair. His hair is short but very thick. I will put a bow tie here. And now let's do all this again. And my friend, it's coloring time! Let's get started with yellow for his hair. You can use a big brush because we don't have a lot of details here. Now, I will mix the yellow color and the blue color to make green color, and that is for the body. Okay, let's do it. But remember, you might need a smaller brush because we have some details here. Don't forget the arms and the legs, okay? Now, let's get some red color for the hairbrush. And finally, the pink color for the bow tie. How cute! It's 
still have a lot of pink color so let's use that for the background we can use a big brush for that to save time For a change, we can use blue color for the other half of the background. So cute! Now it's glittering time! Let's get some glue on her hair, shall we? to put some yellow glitter for the hair This is the most beautiful hair I have ever seen Now, some glue for the green color And that is the arms and the legs Okay, now where's my green glitter? Here it is, let's do it Oh, our broccoli friend is so gorgeous so remember to eat enough green, okay? It's very healthy. I hope to see you again next time. Hello everyone. Today, I will show you how to draw a fish bowl. And after that, we can put some fish inside the bowl. Yay! <laughs> how fun is that? But first, let me get the marker. Here it is. Now let's draw. It is very easy to draw a fishbowl. You just need to draw half a circle. That's it. Good job. And let's do all that again. Now we have a fishbowl. But we need some water. But where can we get the water from? Oh, I know. I need a water pipe. Let's draw a pipe. Here we go. Very easy. Let's do it again. So the pipe is thicker. And we can get more water. Almost done. Now we need some water. But where we get it from? Oh, oh, that's right. Blue color. Let's put some blue color in. Because water is blue. Now it looks like the water is running. Water is running through the pipe. That's a lot of water. Fantastic. Now let's make the water shiny. Put some glitter on the color when it's still wet. That's right! Now, are you ready to blow? Ta-da! Oh, look, look! There's water in the bowl now! How exciting! Okay, now that we have a bowl of water, what else do we need? I know, I know! We need some fish! Let's draw some fish! It's very easy! Follow me! First, you need to draw a body of the fish and then the tail of the fish and then you have a little line for the fish head and the eye let's do all that again voila we have a fish now let's draw another fish shall we so they have friends and they can swim together oh they need to eat as well so I'm drawing some seaweed for them 
so they can stay healthy and keep swimming around and blowing bubbles. So let's draw some bubbles as well. How many should we draw? Four? Okay. One, two, three, and four. Now let's color the fish. I use yellow for fish number one. The fish have a yellow body. I love yellow. What is your favorite color? Now let's color the tail. The fish have a yellow tail and a yellow head. Oh, I think we have a goldfish. So some glitter would make the fish look very nice. Okay, ready to blow again? Ta-da! Oh, and we need to put the eyes on the fish so the fish can see and swim. Look, the fish is swimming. Now, let's color the fish number two with pink color. I color the head first. And then the body and the tail. And done. Glitter time. And then blow time. And also the eyes. Oh look, look, look. The pink fish is swimming. Where is it going? Where is it going? Oh, the fish wants some seaweed. Ah, we forgot to color our seaweed. Let's use green color, okay? Don't forget the glitter when you finish. And let's blow again. Ta da! One last thing the bubbles. And I want four colorful bubbles. Let's do it. First one is green. Second one is purple. Purple bubble. Purple bubble. Mmm, that sounds nice. Now yellow bubble and red bubble. Great! Now let's put everything in the fish bowl. I can't wait to see. Seaweed, fish, bubbles. Oh look, the fish is eating. See you next time.